One day after history making guilty verdict, former President Donald Trump says he will appeal the 34 count felony conviction in his hush money trial. Focus is also turning to the election year impact of the jury's decision, not just on the race for president, but in contests for Congress and state legislatures. As 13 News reporter Bud Foster shows us, there could be a big effect in Arizona. Make sure you vote this election because at least have a say in which direction the state's going to go because it's going to go one way or the other. Because right now, the Republicans have only a one vote majority in both the House and the Senate. The Democrats have not held a majority in Arizona politics since the civil rights era. But if the Trump verdict tilts the voters even just a fraction, just a few votes could swing the state in a whole new direction. And think about it. Let's say both of those legislative changes flip the Democrat. Well, we have a Democratic governor right now who's not up until 2026. Public policy could change dramatically in a two-year time frame. And that's a big concern for Republicans who've dominated state policy for more than a generation. With GOP Senate candidate Kerry Lake polling far behind former President Trump, the concern is it could drag down statewide voting enough to flip the legislature, especially among independent voters who now outnumber both the Republicans and Democrats. And I think a lot of independents have been watching, wondering, well, what are your values? What do you Republicans believe? And now it's important for us to reaffirm what our values, what our vision is, and give them an option. But if that option includes a candidate who is a convicted felon, then the persuadability could become much more difficult although the numbers right now show it could be very close. So a victory could very well depend on the candidate's messaging. Every day that it can be on inflation, the economy, or border security, Trump's winning. Every day that Biden and his team can keep it on abortion and, and these integrity character issues, which the verdict stuff would be right in that realm, they're winning. The guilty verdict will not have an impact on Tucson City Council or county board races. Both are predominantly Democratic in a Democratic county. But if GOP voters stay home or split tickets, Republican state lawmakers in the Tucson area could find themselves vulnerable, which is why get out the vote will dominate the cycle. If you want to reaffirm our principles and values, you better vote all the way down that ticket. And I mean from school boards, uh, all those city council, all the way up. We got to go through that and make sure we fulfill our ballot with those people who share our values. So the Trump verdict could be seismic in Arizona one way or another. Arizona is very close to becoming a blue state, but it is also very close to remaining a red state. So some movement, very slight in one direction or another, will have a significant impact on Arizona's political future. I'm Bud Foster, 13 News.